Hello, Happy New Year and welcome to 2014, another year for my channel Razorwire Reviews. Um, thank you for joining me with this video if, you're, if you've been a subscriber from 2013 or before that and welcome to any new subscribers and viewers. Um, this is going to be a new feature, a new um, weekly series that I'll be doing every Wednesday called the Blu-ray Spotlight. Now I occasionally might uh, also put a spotlight on other things like DVDs or games or even books in which case I'll just call it the book spotlight or the DVD spotlight etc but mainly this will be um, the Wednesday Blu-ray spotlight and we're going to kick this series off in a big fashion with the Breaking Bad complete series box set this is of course the um, the deluxe edition as it is named the barrel set and so I'm going to show you everything that's inside of this and talk a bit about the special features and how I feel about the set in general Okay, so first of all, let's just take a look at the actual packaging. Um, it comes in this plastic, um, you know, uh, case with Breaking Bad logo on it. The uh, this is usually straighter, but I've, I've taken it out of the box before, so it's not perfectly in there. Um, and then we have a uh, uh, card backing over here that kind of shows you everything that the set has to offer. Um, it gives you a synopsis of the show, one of the greatest dramas of all time. Tim Goodman, The Hollywood Reporter. Um, let's just take a quick look on the back. So here we go, Breaking Bad, the complete series, includes collectible replica money barrel, all episodes plus over 40, uh, 55 hours of season-by-season -season special features, all new two-hour documentary commemorative challenge coin designed by Vince Gilligan himself, an exclusive Los Poyos Hermanos apron. There's also this booklet here, which I'll show you uh, when we open it up, with a letter from Vince Gilligan himself. We have the spec specifications down here, my camera will probably not like me zooming in too much. Um, that should be about it. 1080p high definition obviously, English 5.1 DTS HD MA audio, English subtitles for both the series and all the special features which are also in English. And the ratio is uh, 178.1. This uh, set is also, and I'm not sure about the other uh, versions of this set. This is the UK set, um, but this one is region ABC, so it'll play anywhere in the world. And of course, with almost anything these days, we get the ultraviolet UV codes for every episode, every season, so that's great. Not that I use them, but um, it, the options there for people who like, um, you know, digital uh, stream, uh, digital streaming, and um, stuff like that. And we have, of course, Walt and Jesse on the backing card there. Anyway, let's just crack on with this. But before we do, actually, there's one more thing I wanted to just show, just for posterity, I don't know why, but uh, mine was actually damaged in transit, unfortunately. There's this big crack on the back that kind of shattered the plastic, but luckily it wasn't anything that kind of damaged. I mean, even the inlay card wasn't damaged, but, um, you know, everything else is fine. Just uh, <laughs> something I thought I'd point out. Uh, let's get right into it now. So, the top comes off like this. Obviously, I've taken all the plastic off before, so I've had a look at this um, beforehand on Christmas Day. Couldn't help myself. So it's nicely uh, protected by plastic bits and pieces. And then we have to get the barrel out itself. Now, for anyone who does get this in the future or is going to get it, um, don't try and pull it up like this because the lid comes off very easily. So basically the best thing to do is just uh, flip it over and just be very careful with the barrel itself, um, which is also quite difficult with the inlay card, which actually fell out the first time I did it. So I was uh, lucky that time. So here it is, the Breaking Bad barrel in all its glory. Um, I'll just show you a few uh, close-up shots of this from different angles. So we've got the lid here, really nice. The, the, the finish on it is really, really cool. And uh, yeah, just it re really looks like the top of an actual barrel. Um, and this, you know, just little details. You know, well, it's not completely just a, a blank, you know, uh, lid. Uh, it really does look like a proper. Uh, barrel top and uh, feels like one as well and on the front we have the BRBA um, logo uh, that symbolizes Breaking Bad but also two elements um, and it's kind of raised out and it's uh, 
there's a nice relief on there. I like this black and it doesn't stand out. It's not the green and and white. Even though that would be that would be cool, but it kind of it just it makes it a bit more. Um, I don't know. I don't even know why I like it, but I just like the fact that it kind of blends in and it's just kind of there, you know. Okay, so now it's time to open this up and uh, show you the disc inside. There is a hinge here, just a tiny little uh, gap for you to get your finger in and open it up. So here we go. This is uh, everything that's on the inside. First of all, let's have a look at the booklet, which kind of folds in nicely here. When I first saw the, um, uh, you know, the, the concept design for this, I thought that the logo was just printed on the inside, not that the booklet was there. And I'm just going to very <laughs> stealthily cover the uh, the digital copy code because <laughs> I don't want people taking that. And here we go. Got a nice booklet here. I'll show you that in a minute. Now the discs, which have been cause for concern, cause for a bit of controversy, you know, with people who are looking forward to this set. Um, these are especially designed disc holders. Obviously we have all the seasons here. We have Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4, Season 5A uh, and Season 5B. Or as they're being called in the kind of um, home video department, Season 5 and the final season. A bit of confusion there, but um, you know, nothing, uh, nothing too major. So I was worried when I first saw, saw this set was announced. I was thinking, how are they going to house these discs? Um, you know, is it going to be in clamshells? You know, is it going to be safe for the discs? Of course, Blu-rays are, are scratch-proof. You know, um, anyway, but still, I wanted them to be protected, and I was a bit concerned about how these were going to be uh, stored. And it turns out. It's an ingenious bit of um, design, um, and I don't know who designed them, but I don't think this, uh, this has ever been done before with a DVD set or a Blu-ray set. These are our magnetic discs, so we have a clear plastic disc, and all you have to do is simply hold it carefully. Obviously, you can't be you know too cack-handed with it, but you just uh, take it off, and there's your disc. And there is... Um, there is a kind of there's a bit of relief there, so the disc actually does sit in there. It's not just a flat, which is what I was worried about as well. It was just a flat plastic um, dish, but the second uh, layer has a nice little indentation there, so the disc sits really nicely. And then you just take the disc out. So it's fairly, you know, it's fairly safe as long as you take your time. And then of course, you know, and in fact, I'll show you this. Um, so there's the first disc of season one as an example. And then again, just carefully take the next disc off. And then you have the second disc of Season 1. And I believe all these discs have new artwork, or at least most of them do, which is very cool. I like that. It sets it apart as well. Now, as you can see, there's this weird thing on there. Now, what you have to do, and this is a very specific way that you're supposed to put these discs together because the magnets, uh, they're in a formation. Now, I'll just take these apart. So you've got this here which uh, looks like a kind of uh, a co kind of comic book style of uh, Walt's trousers. And then when you put this to it, in fact I'll do it the other way around, so you can see, when you put that to it, it adds a kind of black effect to it. And then when you add the final piece, the wrong way, uh, let me try and figure this out. Uh, and, and, and this is definitely a criticism, by the way, is that it's quite difficult to figure out where exactly all these pieces are supposed to fit. But here we go. I've got it here. And here you go. There's a nice kind of, almost a 3D effect of Walt's trousers there. And again, I feel like it is a bit convoluted. Why would you take them all out just to kind of put them together? But it's a bit of fun. It's something different. And, you know, again, I think it's quite a unique um, design for the discs. So why not? So there you go, season one. We have season two there, and the image for this is the pink bear. Again, you can put them all together. Uh, there's kind of like a tongue and an eye, an eye there, which is really cool. And at the end of this video, I'll probably put them all together so you can see what all the images are like. Um, but I love that the, all the discs on season two have the kind of pool uh, image on it. I think that's really cool. Again, different from the original Blu-ray release um, disc art. The third season, uh, we have the Heisenberg drawing face, which is really cool. Hey, there's me in the camera. Um, and so that all matches up, and again, I'll show you that later. So that's season three. 
which is three discs. We then have season four, very fiery uh, image there for season four. And the image, um, I'm not quite sure what it is, and uh, we'll figure that out at the end of the video. I know what the image for season five is because I, I've already pulled this out and played around with it. But I like how it looks like this because um, it's a spider which fits inside the glass if you line it up right with the disc and everything. So that's really cool, season 5A. And then the final season, season 5B, um, there. So there we go. And also it's worth noting that the these holders inside here, they've got quite a nice finish to them. They're um, kind of soft. It feels like a kind of felt material, so the discs, uh, you know, these slot in really nicely and it's not harsh or anything and um, they're very secure. So I'll just close this now and I'll show you all the collectibles on the top of the set. Oh, but before I do, it's also worth noting there is a tiny magnet there on the, on the door that keeps the... Um, it keeps the door shut, so that's really cool as well. Because sometimes you get these sets that have really nice kind of um, box designs, but when you're supposed to shut them, they end up just kind of, you know, hanging open. Well, case in point, and I'll grab it down right now, is the um, the Watchman set. Great collector's edition. When you have it on the, on the shelf, the display like this with this great image and everything, um, you know, the this just hangs open. So that's kind of annoying. Always need magnets on these kind of things. Okay, so the lid, as I said before, comes off very easily. You just pop it off like that. And on the inside here, it looks like we got a load of money, which is cool. But it's not actually money, obviously, <laughs> but um, it's not just a, a picture of money. It's actually this kind of vacuum sealed apron. It is the Los Poyos Hermanos apron. So I think I'm gonna take this out and it's gonna to have to be ironed and all that kind of thing. Um, in fact, I'll take it out now and we'll kind of have a look at how ridiculous it is. Again, I'll leave it for a second. Also inside here we have the challenge coin. Now the story behind this is um, every season uh, on Breaking Bad, at the end of the shoot, um, they'd have these challenge coins made up for the cast. And the idea of a challenge coin is that it, the, I think these were given to kind of veterans to kind of uh, show at a bar and get free drinks, that kind of thing. It's quite heavy. Nice metal kind of um, uh, material to it. I'm just trying to kind of get good lighting to show you. It's got the Heisenberg draw in there. Nice effect. Excuse me, shiny effect on it. On the other side, we got the BRBA logo. Albuquerque, 2007 to 2013. Of course, the years that the the show was shot and aired, Breaking Bad really really cool so this is kind of modeled off the challenge coins that the actual cast and crew got at the end of every season but it's not exactly like that this is just for the um just for the collector's set so really cool again and you know there's a video of vince gilligan opening this set and unboxing it and he explains this in that video too so um before i get to the booklet and the lost poor samanas apron when you open the barrel, that's my Facebook going off, um, you get this bonus Blu-ray, and this is the Blu-ray that um, is uh, exclusive to this set. You can't get it with a complete series without the barrel, which I think is personally unfortunate because this barrel was very limited. It sold out very quickly. I was very lucky to be able to get it for Christmas and you know, kind of get my family to pre-order, well, to sort out the pre-order and everything. Um, but this contains the two-hour documentary, um, among other things. And I'm also going to round up at the end of this video all the special features that are available in this set. So I'm going to give you a full rundown of everything that is in this set, just so you know. Um, I haven't watched all of it yet, so I can't review it technically, but again, this is just a spotlight to t tell you what's on the, on the set and everything. So this is the main kind of um, content, you know, dig uh, not digital, um, uh, physical, you know, media content of this set uh, that is exclusive to it. So, um, of course, we've got coordinates there that um, if you look at them through a mirror, I'm sure you can figure out what they mean. Um, particularly in regards to the final season. So, I'll put this back here, and first up we'll look at the booklet. Okay, so this booklet, um, you know, it basically tells you everything about the the, um, the seasons, and this is a kind of a letter from Vince Gilligan as it starts off, you know, dear Breaking Bad fan, uh, endings are, to use Jesse Pinkman's favourite word, a bitch, 
Endings means saying goodbye, and goodbye saying goodbye is hard. Yours truly, Vince Gilligan. Nice picture there from, uh, I assume, on the set. Uh, you know, on location with Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, and, and the creator of the whole thing, Vince Gilligan. Now we get kind of rundowns of all the seasons, and what I really like about this layout is that everything, you know, on this clean kind of page is basically the front cover of the Blu-ray, individual Blu-ray releases. Now I've actually sold, I originally owned season one and two on Blu-ray, but I've kept the slip covers, so hang on a second. As I can give you a true example now, here is the slip cover for season one, and as you can see, it is the exact same image, which I really like. So I like that touch, and uh, I think the normal complete series set retains all of these images on the dig digipacks as well. So we have season one, which tells you all the episodes, and I'll run through this at the end, it tells you the bonus features as well, uh, and gives you the credits for the episode, which are pretty much impossible to read, you know, even when, well, I guess you can kind of, if you really squint, but, you know, it gives you a synopsis, the cast, uh, the, you know, the credits, and the bonus features, so there we go, season two, and it's the same uh, artwork as the Blu-ray cover, again, which I really, really like. And I think they're great images. So season two, season three, season four. Of course, that was the season four cover. I love these images. Season five, I love that one as well. And then, of course, the final season, Remember My Name. Very cool stuff. So let's get this apron cracked open. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I guess I'll just try and use my finger <laughs> and uh, crack it open. Yeah, that was pretty easy. And uh, I've seen people do this, and it just comes out so wrinkled that uh, it needs to be ironed when you first take it out. So there we go. Very um, interesting. <laughs> What I'm doing here. Right, there we go. Are we getting somewhere? Yes, we are. Oh, it's just really packed in there, I've got to say. And as you can see, it's wrinkled to all hell. And pull it out there. And you got Los Poyos Hermanos. The Chicken Brothers. <laughs> Very cool. Um, and I'll iron this and and show it to you in its full glory at the end of this video. So there we go, there's the apron. Now, I've been wondering what to do with, uh, I mean, not only these little discs, which I'll probably keep inside the top of the set, but I'm also thinking now that the, uh, the apron is out, that I might kind of add some things to this. I mean, we've got like a, you know, that much space. You know, maybe I could put some kind of, um, you know, Saul Goodman business cards inside here, some kind of you know paper props, something like that. Maybe like a bag of fake blue meth. You know, just things to kind of um, add to the set and make it a bit more unique. I've done that with my Harry Potter set in the past, so I might do something like that in the future. So there we go. That's uh, you know a good look, I think, at the Breaking Bad deluxe barrel box set. Put the booklet back inside now. And now, I'll tell you all about the special features. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you what is on this set in terms of all the special features on all the discs um, from all five or all six seasons um, to the bonus disc. So, there's a lot to get through, but I'm going to talk about everything. I'm not talking, I'm going to tell you everything that's on here. So, the first series, the first episode has an audio commentary with the creator of the show, Vince Gilligan. The actors Brian Cranston, Anna Gunn, Aaron, Aaron Paul, Betsy Brandt, RJ Mitty and Dean Norris, also the editor Lynn Willingham. Uh, there is a collection of three deleted scenes for this episode presented in 1080i. Uh, the second disc, we have episode 5, Grey Matter, which has two deleted scenes again in 1080i. Episode 6, Crazy Handful of Nothing, has an audio commentary with Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Anna Gunn and Dean Norris. And also the writer of that episode, George Mastros. And my phone's gone off. Uh, episode 7, a no rough stuff type deal, contains two 1080i deleted scenes. And um, episodes 2 through 7 on the um, season 1 Blu rays um, contain, 
<coughs> contain optional recap segments that were played at the beginning of the episode, presented in 480p standard definition, which I think is a shame, really, that they kind of, you know, for Blu-ray, they brought over the um, the recaps at the beginning of the episodes, but in standard definition. They don't, they don't look good either. Um, on the second disc, um, there's like the, you know, the special features beyond just the specifics of the episodes, um, and they include um, The Making of Breaking Bad, which is in 1080i, and it's 11 minutes long. Fairly basic, no-frills piece that features cast and crew speaking on the show's story, themes, and characters, intercut plenty of footage from the shows. AMC Shootout, an interview with Vince Gilligan and Brian Cranston. This is 480p, or standard definition, I'll just say standard definition. Uh, 16 minutes long. Um, this is like kind of a talk show thing, and um, it's with the shootout host Peter Bart and Peter Goober, um, who talk to Vince Gilligan and Brian Cranston, and now they also have a short discussion with the executive producer Mark Johnson. Uh, then there's a couple of screen tests, um, all together they come to 8 minutes long, standard definition. You can find this on YouTube, they're pretty popular videos. Um, Aaron Paul, Anna Gunn, Bessie Brennan, and Dean Norris, you can see their first screen tests. Um, Inside Breaking Bad, Standard Definition, a 14 part feature that offers a collection of short but focused segments that, I nearly fell over then, <laughs> segments that look at the themes of the series and behind the scenes work that went into the making of the show. Um, all 14 of those little kind of mini episodes of Inside Breaking Bad come up to around 31 minutes. Um, and then finally we have an advertisement, advertisement for Breaking Bad on AMC, Standard Definition, one minute, and then Vince Gilligan's photo gallery, photos he took um, while making the first season in 1080p. That is the first season. <laughs> season 2, um, episode 1, 737, has an audio commentary with Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, RJ Mitty, Anna Gunn and Betsy Brent. There is a deleted scene for this episode, it is a minute long, it's in standard definition unfortunately, and that's the same to be said of all deleted scenes on this release. There's an episode of Inside Breaking Bad, uh, also in standard definition, three minutes long. Um, Episode 2, Grilled, features just an inside Breaking Bad, 3 minutes long. I'm rounding these up, by the way, because that was 2 minutes 55 seconds, but pretty much 3 minutes long. The third episode, uh, Bit by a Dead Bee, has a deleted scene, 22 seconds only, and inside Breaking Bad, 4 minutes. Uh, episode 4, Down, contains a deleted scene, 43 seconds, inside Breaking Bad, 3 minutes, and Episode 5, Breakage, has an inside Breaking Bad for 2 minutes 35 seconds. Um, now, um... There's a season one recap as well in standard definition, just a minute long, really. Um, and then there's also behind the scenes. These are just uh, their own featurettes, uh, all in standard definition again. Um, they include the cast on season two, three minutes long. Season two, what's in a name, three minutes long. Uh, the making of uh, Negro y Azul music video, uh, two minutes long. Tortoise scene, three minutes long. Uh, the actual Negro y is Azul, <laughs> I'm pronouncing that right, the actual music video, three minutes long in 1080p, that one. Um, behind the scenes stuff again, a look ahead, two minutes long, the special effects, three minutes long, the props, four minutes, the sets, four minutes, locked in the trunk, one minute, inside the RV with Aaron Paul, three minutes, and the crew, uh, three and a half minutes. Um, moving on with the episode specific features. Um, Episode 6, Peekaboo, contains one deleted scene, 52 seconds. Inside Breaking Bad, 3 minutes. Uh, Negro Ihizul features um, Inside Breaking Bad, 4 minutes. Um, Better Call Saul features Inside Breaking Bad, 3 minutes. One deleted scene, 1 minute long, and an audio commentary with Vince Gilligan, Brian Kreis, and Aaron Paul, writer Peter Gould, and director of, director of photography Michael Slovis. Um, 4 Days Out has an audio commentary with Vince Gilligan, Brian Kreis, and Aaron Paul, Michael Slovis, director of photography, and the director of the episode, Michelle McC McLaren. Uh, two deleted scenes, one minute and 23 seconds, and inside Breaking Bad, three minutes long. Um, then we have episode 10, Over, has one deleted scene, which is two minutes long, inside Breaking Bad, three minutes. Uh, the 11th episode of the season, Mandala, features three deleted scenes, almost four minutes long, inside Breaking Bad, almost four minutes long. Um, and episode 12, Phoenix, contains inside Breaking Bad, Four minutes long, and then the final episode, ABQ, features Inside Breaking Bad, four minutes long. Two deleted scenes that come to almost two minutes long, and an audio commentary with Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, RJ Mitty, Anna Gunn, Betsy Brent, and John Delancey, who plays uh, um, Jane's mother, uh, Jane's mother, <laughs> Jane's uh, father in the uh, in that episode, who plays a very pivotal role in that season. 
then we have the Writer's Lab, an interactive guide to the elements of ABQ. This is in 1080p. The supplement begins with a bit creative and skilled in guiding viewers through the script writing process and the boarding of the episode that helps the writers realize the larger plot points of each episode. The viewers are then prompted to click on any of the four acts minus the teaser and then select one of several index cards, read the corresponding segment from the script, and then watch the completed scene from the show. It's kind of an interactive thing. I find they usually hit and miss with uh, Blu-rays and DVDs. We have the Better Call Saul commercial in 1080p, 50 seconds. Uh, we have a gag reel uh, this time around, which is uh, in standard definition, four minutes long. And then we have Cop Talk with Dean Norris, uh, quite a number of uh, little featurettes in standard definition where um, Dean Norris um, speaks with other law enforcement officials on several cop related subjects. So we have um, cop stuff, two minutes, chick cops, two minutes, donuts, three minutes, and stakeout, three minutes. Uh, then we have Walt's Warning, uh, standard definition, three minutes, a short piece featuring actor Brian Cranston and others speaking on the series viral marketing campaign. Then there's also six Breaking Bad uh, webisodes, which are kind of, um, kind of offshoots of the series that are kind of little kind of mini episodes really, Breaking Bad, they're really cool, they're in 1080p, we have um, The Break-In, 5 minutes, Good Cop, Bad Cop, two, uh, 3 minutes, Wedding Day, which is really funny, it's um, Hank's Wedding Day with Marie, and Walt's there too, that's 5 minutes, uh, Twat Hammer, uh, 4 minutes, Fallacies by Twat Hammer, 3 minutes, and Marie's Confession, 3 minutes, and then rounding off the, um, the extras, there is a, a Season 3 sneak peek in 1080p, and Vince Gilligan's Photo Gallery again, once again in HD. Moving on to Season 3, um, we have um, Episode 1, No Mask, contains audio commentary with Brian Crass and Aaron Paul, Anna Gunn, Skip McDonald's, Dave Porter, Michael Slovis, a deleted scene, two minutes long, uh, unused footage, um, three minutes long, again these del deleted scenes are still in standard definition. Uh, episode 2, Caballo Sin Nombre, uh, deleted scenes, uh, three minutes. Episode 3, IFT, which is uncensored, I'll get back to that at the end. Um, one delete scene, 30 seconds long. Green Light um, has 7 minutes of delete scenes. Uh, episode 5, Mass, has an audio commentary of Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, Anna Gunn, Bob Odenkirk, and Moira Wally Beckett. Um, also on the first disc is uh, White Heat, Cranston on Fire, this is in 1080p, 3 minutes long. Uh, Pizza of Destiny, Cranston's Greatest Shot, 1080p, 2 minutes and 23 seconds. Uh, episode 6, Sunset, has an audio commentary with Vince Gilligan, Dean Norris, John Shaban, Kelly Dixon, and Thomas Golubic. One deleted scene, 2 minutes. Uh, episode 7, 1 minute, has audio commentary with Dean Norris, Michelle McLaren, Thomas Schnauss, Dave Porter, Daniel Moncada, and Louis Moncada. Uh, episode 8, I See You. Audio commentary with Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Betsy Brandt, RJ Mitty, and Jennifer Hutchison. Uh, episode 9, Kafka esque. Audio commentary with Vince Gilligan, Betsy Brandt, George Masteris, and Michael Slovis. One deleted scene, 30 seconds long. Um, other features on the second disc Silent but Deadly, The Brothers, Moncada, Mon uh, 1080p, uh, 8 minutes long. Team Science, 1080p, 4 minutes long. Inside Breaking Bad, uh, we get all of the kind of Inside Breaking Bad episodes in 1080p, and they all round up to 1 hour and 15 minutes long. Um, so there's the opening of Season 3, The Hay Truck, The Cousins Visit Walt, Walt's Aztec, The Cast on Season 3, Brian Cranston answers fan questions, and Aaron Paul answers fan questions. Then we have uh, Better Call Saul commercials and testimonials, 1080p, they all amount to 10 minutes long. We have uh, Tiger Trouble, Better Call Saul, Wayfarer, 515, Rural Victims, A Message from Saul, Saul says, sue him now. <laughs> Letters to Saul, did I murder an old man? Another satisfied client of Saul Goodman, Badger. And three satisfied clients of Saul Goodman. Disc 3 of Season 3, Episode 10, Fly. Audio commentary with Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, and Moira Wally Beckett. One deleted scene, uh, 10 AP, uh, not 10 AP, 4 ACP, one minute long. Episode 11, um, ABQ, I don't know how you pronounce that one. Um, one deleted scene, one minute, 31 seconds. Episode 12, Half Measures, one deleted scene, 30 seconds, audio commentary with Brian Cranston, Adam Bernstein, Bill Poloski, Peter Gould, Jonathan Banks, and Michael Slovis. Episode 13, Full Measure, commentary of Vince Gilligan, Aaron Paul, Anna Gunn, Bob Odenkirk, and Jonathan Banks, one deleted scene. Oh no, three, four deleted scenes that um, come up to five minutes long. We have the Breaking Bad family photo album in 1080p, slideshow containing photographs and so on. The music of Breaking Bad feature at 1080p, 4 minutes long. Hit and Run, 1080p, 3 minutes long. 
Uh, AMC News visits the Breaking Bad writer's room, 480p, 3 minutes long. We have a gag reel in standard def, 3 minutes long. And then finally, for season 3, we have mini video podcasts. Now, they do this podcast on the AMC website. Highly recommend them. They're really cool. And I think this was kind of some footage from the recordings of those podcasts. The, and the video footage is presented in 1080p. That, uh, and all of the kind of little kind of mini video podcasts, they run up to 1 hour and 8 minutes long. So uh, there's one for every single episode. Moving on to season 4. Whew. <laughs> we got um, audio commentary on episode 1, Box Cutter, with... Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Giancarlo Esposito, uh, Melissa Bernstein, Skip McDonald, and Diane, Diane Mercer. Extended and alternate scenes in standard definition, two minutes long. Episode 2, uh, 38 Snub, a audio commentary with Aaron Paul, Betsy Brent, Melissa Bernstein, Thomas Golubic, Michelle McLaren, and George Masters. My, <laughs> my lips are getting very dry, there's a lot to kind of um, say on this. Episode 3, Open House, audio commentary again, Betsy Brandt, Melissa Bernstein, Sam Catlin, uh, Thomas Golubic and David Slade, extended and alternate scenes, 1 minute 40 seconds. Episode 4, Bullet Points, commentary of Vince Gilligan, Dean Norris, Bob Odenkirk, Melissa Bernstein, Colin Buxey and writer Moira Wally Beckett. Episode 5, Shotgun, deleted scenes, 1 minute 57 seconds, audio commentary of Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, Jonathan Banks, Michelle McLaren, Dave Porter, Thomas Schnauz. Episode 6, Cornered, has an audio commentary with Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Alan Paul, Jonathan Banks, Jennifer Hutchison, Stephen Stuart, <laughs> Stuart Lyons, Michael Slovis, extended alternate scenes, uh, three minutes long, still in standard def. Episode 7, Problem Dog, deleted scene, two minutes long. Audio commentary with Vince Gilligan, Aaron Paul, Anna Gunn, Betsy Brown, RJ Mitty, Peter Gould, and Andrew Ortner. Episode 8, Hermanos, audio commentary with Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, Mark McGullis, Stephen Bauer, Joha Johan uh, Renk and Michael Slovis, deleted scene, extended and alternate scenes, two minutes long. Episode 9, Bug, audio commentary of Vince Gilligan, Dean Norris, uh, Christopher Cousins, Michelle McLaren, Melissa Bernstein, Thomas Schnauz, and Moira Wally Beckett, deleted scenes, four minutes long. Episode 10, Salou, uh, audio commentary by Aaron Paul, Audrey Mitty, Giancarlo Esposito, Stephen Bauer, Peter Gould, Jennifer Hutchison, and director. Michelle McLaren. Deleted scenes also two minutes long and extended scenes five minutes long. Episode 11 Crawl Space, audio commentary with Aaron Paul, Dean Norris, Bob Odenkirk, Christopher Cousins, Dave Porter, Moira Wally Becker and Scott Winant. One deleted scene, 32 seconds. Episode 12 End Times, audio commentary with Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Giancarlo Esposito, Kelly Dixon, Thomas Schnauz and Moira Wally Beckett. Episode 13 Face Off, commentary with Vince Gilligan at Brian Cranston. Aaron Paul Anagon, Giancarlo Esposito, Greg Nicotero, and William Palowski. I'm going to take a break and get some water. And I'm back. Um, now we have the... Oh, before I get to this, I've just, of course, gone through all the um, participants in the audio commentaries on, on the Season 4 Blu-rays. Uh, the original UK Blu-ray release of Season 4 and Season 3 didn't have all the audio commentaries, so... When it was announced this set was coming out, I was thinking, oh, it would be amazing if they had all the audio commentaries from the US and Australian releases uh, reinstated for the, for the UK version, and they were, and I couldn't believe it. It's one of those things that, you know, you just don't think would happen, because it's something that, <laughs> I don't, it's just one of those things that's like, seems trivial to some people, but for people like me, I really like the audio commentaries and having all the extras, so it seems like they're really you know, paid enough care and attention, or the fact that they just use the same discs worldwide to save money, I guess, I don't know, but we got all the audio commentaries back, so for me as a big fan of Season 4 in particular, to have all the audio commentaries back is brilliant. <sighs> okay, carrying on, um, we have um, Inside Breaking Bad episodes for every uh, episode again, these are now in 1080p high definition. We have Box Cutter, 4 minutes long, 38 Snub, 4 minutes long, Open House, 3 minutes long, Bullet Points, 3 minutes, Shotgun, 5 minutes. We have Gale's karaoke video in 480p for some reason. Uh, well, I guess it's, it, it kind of fits the, the bill. Um, that's 4 minutes long, it's the complete video from which clips were used in that one episode. Um, Inside Breaking Bad again, we've got Problem Dog, 5 minutes, Cornered, 4 minutes, Hermanos, 4 minutes, Bug, 3 minutes, Salu, 5 minutes. Crawl Space 5 minutes, End Times 5 minutes, Face Off 5 minutes, A Look at Season 4 uh, 3 minutes, The Car Explosion 2 minutes, Walt and Jesse's Fight 3 minutes, Design of the Super Lab 3 minutes, Tour of the Super Lab uh, 5 minutes, The Look at 
the, the look of the Super Lab, four minutes, Jesse's house, three minutes, and unanswered questions, three minutes. Then we have a feature inside the explosive finale in 1080p also, that is 23 minutes long. The sets of Breaking Bad, uh, high def, nine minutes long. The Invisible Driver, high def, four minutes long. The real family of Breaking Bad, uh, four minutes long. Better Call Saul commercials, all in 1080p. Um, fatty Fatty, <laughs> Fatty Fat Fat, uh, one minute long. And Fighting For You, one minute long. We have the video podcast back again in 1080p. Box cutter, 11 minutes long, 38 snub, 9 minutes. Open house, 10 minutes. Bullet points, 9 minutes. Shotgun, 10 minutes. Cornered, 12 minutes. Problem dog, 9 minutes. Humanos, 10 minutes. Bug, 9 minutes. Salu, 12 minutes. Crawl space, 10 minutes. End times, <laughs> 10 minutes. And face off, 11 minutes. We have a gag reel in high definition, 5 minutes long. Cast chemistry, high def, 6 minutes. Color me bad, high def, 5 minutes. The science of a hit show, High def, five minutes. Super Lab Tour, high def, three minutes. The White House, high def, four minutes. And that is it for season four. And we're going to blast through now with season five. Commentary tracks in every episode, live free or die. Um, and I'll just say the, 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 the participants for all the audio commentaries. So live free or die, Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, RJ Mitty, Michael Slovis, um, Dennis Milliken, uh, Madrigal. Vince Gilligan, Aaron Paul, Anna Gunn, Laura Frazier, Michelle McLaren, William Gilpin, Hazard Pay, uh, Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, Anna Gunn, Bob Woodenkirk, Melissa Bernstein, uh, 51, Aaron Paul, Anna Gunn, RJ Mitty, Ryan Johnson, and Sam Catlin. Uh, let's find the rest of the episodes. Dead Freight, Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Michael Slovis, George Masteris, uh, Christian Diaz D. <laughs> Bidoya, uh, Buyout, Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, Anna Gunn, Bob Owen, Kirk, Melissa Bernstein, Jennifer Hutchison, Colin Buxey, and Werner Hanlin. Say My Name, Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, Jonathan Banks, Thomas Schnauz, Skip McDonald, and then ep gliding over all the final episode of uh, Season 5A features a commentary from Vince Gilligan, Laura Frazier, Michelle McLaren, Moria Wally Beckett, Jennifer L. Bryan, Kelly Dixon, and William Gilpin. Uh, now we also have Inside Breaking Bad, once again, um, all in 1080p, I believe, yes. Uh, Live for Your Die, 5 minutes, Madrigal, 5 minutes, Hazard Pay, 5 minutes, 51, 5 minutes. We also have uh, The Making of the Season 5 Premiere, 5 minutes. Um, the Making of Episode 502, Madrigal, 4 minutes. The making of Episode 503, Hazard Pay, 4 minutes. Hi. Making of episode 504, uh, 51, 4 minutes. Extended scene from uh, Madrigal in HD, 3 minutes. Deleted scene from 51, I'm just tired, 1 minute. Uh, scene by scene, directors discuss, discuss the memorable moments. So um, various directors from the whole series uh, talk about uh, memorable moments of the show. HD, 12 minutes. The writers of Breaking Bad, HD, 9 minutes. Gag Reel, HD, 3 minutes. Writers Room, Time Lapse, HD, 9 minutes. More Inside Breaking Bad stuff, where Season 4 left off, 4 minutes. Season 5, The Cast Looks Ahead, 4 minutes. Uh, on the set of Season 5 with Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul, 1 minute. Chris Hardwick's All-Star Celebrity Bowling, HD, 11 minutes. This is uh, the, the Nerdist from the Nerdist YouTube channel, really cool. And a really funny uh, special feature, actually. Uh, and Gallery 1988 Art Show, HD, 3 minutes. Then we have more Inside Breaking Bad, um, in, all in HD. Dead Freight, 4 minutes. Buyout, 5 minutes. Say My Name, 5 minutes. Gliding Over All, 6 minutes. The Making of 505, Dead Freight, 4 minutes. Making of Episode 506, Buyout, 4 minutes. Making of 507, Say My Name, 5 minutes. And Making of Episode 508, Gliding Over All, 6 minutes. Deleted Scenes from Dead Freight, 2 minutes. From Buyout, 2 minutes. Extended Scenes from Buyout, 1 minute. And Extended Scene from I'm Gonna Kill That Guy. Um, no, from Say My Name. <laughs> the delete scene is called I'm Gonna Kill That Guy, two minutes long. An exclusive scene uh, just for the Blu-ray called Chicks and Guns. Uh, it's an eight-minute scene, and then also behind the, the, the scene, Chicks and Guns, seven minutes long. Nothing Stops This Train, a look at the train sequence in Dead Freight, high definition, 16 minutes. The Cleaner, Jonathan Banks' Mike, HD, eight minutes. Prison Stunt Rehearsal, HD, one minute. Jesse Plemons' audition footage, HD, three minutes. And Laura Frazier, audition footage. HD, 4 minutes. Now we're going to move on to the final season. 
Audio commentaries, and I'll just blast through these as well. Blood Money, Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Anna Gunn, Bob Wood and Cook, RJ Mitty, Peter Gould, Michelle McLaren, Melissa Bernstein, uh, Buried, we have uh, Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Anna Gunn, Laura Frazier, Michelle McLaren, Thomas Schnauz, Stuart Lyons, Confessions, we have Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Anna Gunn, Bob Wood and Cook, RJ Mitty, Jennifer Hutchison, Michelle McLaren, and M Melissa Bernstein. Rabbit Dog, Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, RJ Mitty, Sam Catlin, Melissa Bernstein, Diane Mercer, and Nick uh, Four Shager. <laughs> um, to Tahajali, Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Anagon, Laura Frazier, George Masters, Michelle McLaren, Dave Porter, Stuart Lyons, Ozzy Mandius, we have Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, RJ Mitty, Maura Wally Beckett, and Michelle McLaren, Granite State, Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, Bob Odenkirk, Robert Forster, that's really cool, uh, Peter Gould, and then Felina, the final episode, Vince Gilligan, Brian Cranston, Diane Mercer, and Nick for Shager. So, again, audio commentaries on every episode of the final season. We have Inside Breaking Bad, once again, HD, Inside Blood Money, four minutes, Making Blood Money, two minutes, Inside Buried, five minutes, Making Buried, four minutes, Inside Confession, three minutes, Making Confessions, three minutes, Inside Rabid Dog, three minutes, Making Rabid Dog, four minutes. Delete scenes, all in HD. Um, from Buried, there are two, up to about a minute and a half. Confessions, there are two, uh, just over two minutes. Rabid Dog, there are two, just over two minutes. Um, the complete uh, table read of Blood Money, uh, HD 41 minutes. Walt's Confession, the full HD version of the uncut full screen uh, version of Walt's Confession at, uh, in the episode of Confessions in HD 6, six, six minutes. <laughs> 666. Uh, Jesse Pinkman Evidence Tape, we get to see that, 5 minutes long HD. The Layers of a Sound Mix, mix HD 5 minutes long. We have Gag Reel HD 6 minutes long. And what I really was hoping they'd include, that's something really small, but I really liked it, the Ozymandias trailer that was uh, shown on TV, high definition, one minute. More Inside Breaking Bad, Inside Tahajali, three minutes, The Making of Tahajali, four minutes, Inside Ozymandias, four minutes, The Making of Ozymandias, three minutes, Inside Granite State, four minutes, Making Granite State, three minutes, Inside Felina, six minutes, Making Felina, four minutes. Extended scenes, one from Granite State, two minutes long, and... Uh, one from the final episode, which is only in script form. The main event, HD, uh, 14 minutes long, a featurette. We have the final showdown, HD, 10 minutes. Life of a showrunner, HD, 9 minutes. Um, an alternate ending to the show in HD, 4 minutes long. And behind the scenes of the alternate ending, 5 minutes long. And fire in the hole, um, M60. <laughs> M60 test footage, HD, 1 minute long. That's my mum telling the cat to shut up, not me, hopefully. Now, there is a bonus disc that came with the final season in America, and the only thing that was on that bonus disc was the Mythbusters episode of Breaking Bad, which is really good, but I didn't love it, so I'm not too bothered about not being in this set, but um, still, if I get the chance to pick it up at some point, I might get it just for completest, completest sake, but um, that's the only thing that this set doesn't have, is that Mythbusters bonus disc that was with the final season in the American release. So that's everything. That's everything that's on all the, the seasons of... Um, of this set, and so, you know, you know it all now, everything that's on all these 16 Blu-ray discs, I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then of course there is the, the bonus disc, so what is on here, well, I'll tell you now, no half measures, creating the final season of Breaking Bad. This is a high definition documentary that is two hours and 15 minutes long. It's a feature length documentary that focuses mainly on the, well, almost entirely on the making of the final season. Although the, the, the it's split into two parts. One is like 13 minutes at the beginning called Beginnings, which kind of sets up everything. And then the second part is all about the final season, which is two hours and two minutes. But it's pretty much just a, a long, you know, it's this, this one documentary, so. That is really why you should get this box set if you can. It's um, I haven't seen, I haven't watched it yet, but just the fact that it's two hours fifteen minutes, it's got to be a really really great watch. And then we have a whole slew of featurettes. Brian Cranston, director, HD. These are all HD, five minutes long. Bad Memories, six minutes long. Scene Envy, five minutes long. The Transformation of Walter Heisenberg, two minutes. Shocking Moments, one minute. 
more shocking moments one minute and this is why I think they kind of should have condensed some of this into you know just shocking moments two minutes instead of two one minute you know clips and then we have how will it end Brian Cranston and Gunn and Dean Norris they kind of theorize how the show will end HD one minute how will it end again Aaron Paul Betsy Brand Bob Odenkirk and RJ Mitty give their thoughts on how the series will end and so again one minute, 59 seconds it just seems like they should have condensed some of this together and it's kind of it just kind of makes the list look a bit more beefed up, I think. Then we have a look ahead to the final season, HD, two minutes long. Jesse's Journey, Aaron Paul as Jesse Pinkman, nine minutes long. Avenging Agent Dean Norris as Hank Schrader, eight minutes long. Scene Stealer, Betsy Brandt as Marie Schrader, seven minutes long. A Criminal Attorney, Bob Odenkirk as Saul Goodman, seven minutes. Skylar Briggs Bad and a Gun on season four, six minutes. Growing Up in the White House, RJ Mitty on Walter Jr., five minutes long. The Ultimate Chess Match, eight minutes long. This is, takes a look at the, um, as it says, the Walter White Gus Fring season long battle in season four. Ted's Wipeout, HD, four minutes long. The Truck Attack storyboard comparison, six minutes long. Walter and the Challenger storyboard comparison, five minutes long. And finally, a look back at season four, 10 minutes long. And that is all she wrote. And it took me almost half an hour to just talk you know, as fast as I possibly could about everything that is on all these Blu-rays. So that gives you a bit of a taste of <laughs> just how long it would take you to work your way through all of those things. And I was thinking of doing like a series reviewing everything, but I just think that would take too long. You know, I mean, if you're watching this up till this point and you'd like to see me review all that, then maybe I consider it. But <laughs> this in in of itself, this video, um, yeah, it's uh, it's been epic. So um, I'll end this just by showing you the images on the discs. Um, actually, no, there's one more thing, and I, w I won't edit this pit. Edit this pit? I won't edit this bit because. Um, Fuck it. This is one more thing I want to talk about. And that is the uncensored episodes. Now, um, some of the episodes, you know, have the F word in them. And on TV, those were muted. On the Blu-rays, of course, they were unmuted. And quite a few shows do this. Season 3 in the UK, and I think season 4 was still muted for some reason and that was really worrying especially when this was coming out that it wouldn't be a complete uncensored version so when you look at the uh, the episodes in the booklet it tells you what has been uncensored and kind of cleared um, f just for this set in particular uh, in the UK or in Europe I guess and here we go episode 3 of season 3 IFT it says it's uncensored and then there's a little Asterix, which says viewer discretion advised. We also have uh, Mass Episode 5 is uncensored and Fly is also uncensored. If we move over to Season 4, I think there's one there. 38 Snub is uncensored, Bullet Point is uncensored, Shotgun is uncensored, Bug is uncensored, Crawl Space is uncensored. Uh, season 5A Hazard Pay is uncensored and Say My Name is uncensored. And then the final season, I'm not sure if it would say. Yeah, it doesn't really need to. Oh, it does okay. Ozymandias is uncensored. Granite State is uncensored and extended. And Felina is also extended. So we get the two um, extended versions of Granite State and Felina as they were shown on TV as uh, a bit longer than the, the average episode. So there you go. I'll now wrap this up by showing you the artwork on all the discs and showing you the uh, hopefully ironed apron. Um, and I'll cut to that now. Okay, so here are all the discs, uh, the disc cases without the actual discs inside. I'll just show you them now. This is season one, that's Walt's trousers. Pretty cool. Sorry. Season two, one of my favourites is the, uh, the pink bear. Really love that. It's really cool. Season 3, the Heisenberg drawing, very famous with the show, and I think everyone has a t-shirt of this. <laughs> Season 4, I think this is my favourite one, is The Bell. Very, very important part of Breaking Bad. Love that. Fifth season, uh, not as important as the other images, but quite an important moment in the show, the tarantula. And then finally... Uh, just a pair of keys and a car fob for the final season. 
I can't quite remember what the significance of this is. Probably could have been something a bit better, but um, cool nonetheless. So, yeah.